Well, there's no place that Mike Max would rather be than a gym on a cold night. That's right, and especially when you got good teams playing, right? You know, a yeah. bit of a basketball but star I've been yourself. The so. with you guys. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. Maybe we can hit on that again later in You're the show. You're welcome. <laughs> Cold nights can be cured if you have a vested interest in high school basketball. Highlights from seven area games Granite City Classic and St. Cloud, Apple Valley, and Creighton Durham Hall were mentioned early as the top two teams in 4A. Since then, several contenders have emerged, but it's a good matchup. Trey Jones carries much of his team's expectations on his shoulders. Creates a lot of offense by himself. Creighton Durham Hall is more balanced and more weapons like Cy Chapman from the key. And they get the ball to a number of people like Daniel Turrell. The future gopher gets his share of looks. He takes this one from the post. Creighton Durham Hall wins at 80-69. to Jarvis O'Mercer trying to motivate his Orono team before they met High Power Minnehaha Academy. He does it with words and action. Don't give up on the ball. Eventually, the future gopher takes control, then takes it up for a dunk. He had 20 points. But Minnehaha was able to offset it. Giovanni Bickham is a good one. He scored 12 points. Minnehaha by three, 53-50. Park Center is one of those teams you keep hearing mentioned as a team to watch. Today against Woodbury, they feature dangerous Dane Danger. Just a sophomore. He's carved out a name and a pretty cool name with that. Jarius Cook can get to the basket as well. Nice break. The Pirates win at 72 to 55. Wow. Chaplin Park lost much of last year's state runner-up team, but they can still be strong, as in Josiah Strong. Taking on St. Cloud Tech, Strong was the man. He scored 28 points. Many from behind the three-point arc. Hard to defend for Tech. Champlin Park, 20-point win, 80 to 60 over St. Cloud Tech. Rogers and Sartell St. Stephen. Watch out for Brandon Vasquez. He's got the look of a score, looking to attack and looking to make you pay. He did. Always facing up the basket will get you opportunities. Case in point, Vasquez again in a 69-55 win. Girls basketball get together at Hill Murray High School, Forest Lake, and St. Louis Park. The Rangers rely on the hot hand of one Abigail Grunweg. She led the way, scoring 20 points on the night. Forest Lake emerges as an eight-point victor, 62 to 54 over St. Louis Park. Robbinsdale Cooper and Lakeville South Mountain Rose. So the Cougars on the attack move the ball, make the shot. Addie Thompson does just that. Cooper has been near the top of the rankings in their class, in part because of Jada Buford. A rainbow from NBA range. Swish. No final score on that one. And finally, my alma mater, kind of Sibley East, Gaylord, Arlington, and Greenau. Met Liz's alma mater, Worthington, and boys basketball. Oh. And the I results. Just saw the score. You see underneath there, it's Sibley East, Max, and then Worthington, Liz. Just case. T R O J A N S. 80 for Sibley East Wolverines. Okay. 58 for Wise, for Worthington. You can now sing the fight song. Yeah. Was, what happened? I just did. You know they had cold. You know I was such an athlete back in the day when I was. <laughs> <laughs> I lettered in journalism. You recorded it in the yearbook. <laughs> yeah, exactly.